okay in this video i am going to talk about logins again okay this time we are going to actually again use the same login methods okay to get the access to the sql server open the computer management from the administrative tools and then go to the local user and groups okay go to the group first let's go to the user now the my basic idea is that first we will create few users and then we will add them to the groups a single group okay and then we'll make a direct connection to a group rather than a single user as i had done in the previous login video okay so i'm going to add users so let's say i'm going to add two users maybe let's say tom his file name is also tom i'm going to pass a description mm, the password i need not keep the must change okay and i'm going to create this user the user i have created tom and i'm going to create a new user that's known as jerry okay and again the same word password there cannot be user must change on the okay that okay that i have removed it create okay i have created not two users there are many users i have created two users one is tom here it is and the other one is jerry okay now i will create a group let's create a new group maybe i will name it as a group adventure or create group not print let's use the adventure database so i will like it adventure because most of the people should be having the adventure not the norwind okay adventure description i will pass it as a blank and i am going to add two users that actually i just created so i'm going to say advanced find now i can add uh, many users not not a problem at all but just for the demo i have just created the two users i can add other users also as you can see let's add the jerry and that go tom i'm going to click okay we have jerry and tom added to the group i'm going to click okay and i'm saying going to click create okay it has created and i have going to close it down okay if i want i can check it out name was group adventure okay now i'm going to close this thing down okay let's close this thing down and maybe we will go into now to the database from the database we will go directly to the security logins okay we will go to the login and we will go and select a new login okay and i'm going to click right click new So there we are. I can go and search the login name. Advanced. Find now. Before I actually I go and search, I actually have to select the object types. I have not selected the group, so I go and selected the group also this time because I am going to put the group, and I am going to say find now again. Okay, now I have an adventure group. a group adventure 
I have to just go and see because I have created a group adventure this time. And I'm going to go and click OK, and then I'm going to click OK, and that's it. Now I can directly map the database from here only. There's nothing else needed to be done. User mapping and securables. I can just do it directly from here. Here it is. I can just say adventure. Okay, and I can just select the permission database reader, database writer. Okay, and if you want to go and check the securables, if you want to see what happens here, I'll go and search search the object types. If I wanted to assign it by the table wise and other objects wise permission, I can do it from here. So here it is object type. I can say server. Okay. Browse. Here it is. And click OK. And I can say OK. And as you can see, everything has been actually listed here. But I'm going to pass this thing for right now. I'm not going to choose use anything here. Okay, and I'm just say going to say okay. I have given them the permission. Okay, here it is. The permission for the in the ad groups, okay, to the group, and the group has two user, Tom and Jerry. Both have the uh, now the permission to for the database read and write in the database adventure. Okay, as you can see, that the group already um, when I get went to the adventure works, and I went to the security of the user. You can see that already there is a group with the adventure group adventure. Now, if I log in as Tom or Jerry, I would be able to access the database of the adventure works and not the other database because I have not actually given them the permission to the other database. Okay, so these if I log in as Tom and Jerry, I can always access the database and use the DB. I can read the the Tom or Jerry can read the database, write the database. Of the adventure works, and this is very simple. I think so. You must have got it. Okay. Now, if you wanted to still go and check it out, you could click it. Right click on the group adventure and select the properties. Okay, and then we can check out the other things. Here we are. You can see the DB reader is there. There is a DB writer, and there are many more things. Okay. And I'm just going to click OK. There are securables. But let me go to the this thing. Okay. Now this is the owned schema. As you can see, I could have given them, put them in any schema also. Suppose if I wanted to change them only to the human resources, I could have said only human resources, and they are limited to only human resources. That's it. Okay. And again, if I want to go to securable a little bit, little bit further, and I go search specific objects. Okay. Now suppose if I wanted to search by the specific objects. Okay. Suppose I I wanted to give them by the permission by the tables only. Okay. I can say okay, search them. Okay. Browse. Here it is. I can select the human resource. Okay. Let's see what happens afterwards. Okay. Let's add them all. All of them matching objects. And I'm going to click OK. And click OK. Okay, you have seen. You you can see that the second now I have actually allowed. I have selected the table names and etc. 
now i can actually give the permission here for the tables with the grant or with the suppose if i wanted to give for the department table okay view the definition the person can update the table can select the table okay can reference it okay not a problem with that thing can insert it delete it insert sorry delete and alter it okay now if i use this i i can modify the the grant permission with the every table okay as you can see here now i will show you if i say it with a grant okay means if i say it with a grant means that this user tom or jerry can actually give it pass this permission of the insert to some other user also means they can grant the permission to insert into this table okay the table department to other user okay if i give it with a grant and if i say deny it okay then the user if i select the deny here you see the other options have been deselected okay now what happens is now this user both the user in this group will never be able to insert a grant or insert a this thing record into the tables okay now as you can see there is no revoke permission here there is a grant is there there is a deny there is a revoke revo actually removes both the permissions as grant as well as deny okay it is used to actually clear off both the permission that's why it is not shown it to you here as you can see so actually if you don't want to give if you want to revoke the permission you just have to see that all the check boxes are cleared as simple as that thing and now you can go and do it for the rest of the things and once you have done it you can click okay okay now if you see again the same thing again you can slay insert delete alter okay you can do with the rest of the tables and i think so i have made it clear how you actually create give a permission and grant the permission on the tables itself okay and i'll just actually leave it here actually i think so i've made it very clear what the things are and i will just say okay you can just continue with other tables also whatever you want to do it and assign them the permissions i'm just like going to click it because this is anyway a demo and there we are i have added with this actually the group login okay now if the user actually logs out and get logs in as a tom or jerry he would be able to access the database that is the adventure depending upon what the permission we gave him okay so far so good okay thank you very much for watching the video